Hi, welcome to the Tips and Tricks installation videos. I'm Andy Acker, Director of Education for North America. Today what we're going to show you is our new thermostat and how to program it. It's actually quite simple. It comes with a wizard that helps you with the setup. So if you look up here, we've already booted the thing up and the first thing we're going to do is choose the language. Today we're going to use English. So we're going to say OK and go forward from that. And it's going to do some diagnostics here, several tests. It's going to test the thermostat, the air and the room sensor, and also the floor sensor. So it says that those all passed, so we're good to go there. And we'll advance, and now it's time to actually test the GFCI, which is a safety measure that's built into a lot of electronics. So it says to test it monthly, so we'll go ahead and test it. And it tells us to touch the button on the side to check it, and there you go we've actually got it okay. So now we're ready to advance from that test. So the next thing we're going to do is check to see if we want to run this in Fahrenheit or Celsius, whichever one you'd like. We're going to pick Fahrenheit here. And now we actually have to put in the floor load. How long was the cable that you ran and how much do we have there and how much wattage is it going? So I already know this particular cable that's in this demonstration is a little bit more than that. So we're going to run it up to 0.2 kilowatts and OK it, so that's how much load we're going to have. Now, sensor type. The sensor that we use here at Schluter Systems is the first one here. It's the default sensor, if you just remember the default one. It's the one here that's 10K ohm, so we're ready to go. That's already been uh, selected. The next thing is to set the date. The nice thing about the programmable thermostat is you can set the thermostat for seven days a week. So we're going to start here uh, with the date. And you can see that it's got the right date. So that's good to go. And the next setting is the time. And the time looks to be accurate too. And you can choose between 24 hour period and 12 hour period here. And this is also interesting. You can use other types of flooring with this besides tile or stone. Uh, you can set this for laminate or whatever. We're going to use tile, so we're going to select that button here. If you're going to use a different type of flooring, you want to check with that manufacturer of that particular flooring on what kind of temperature that particular material can withstand. So here we're going to select tile. We move forward, and there you go. Your thermostat will start heating the floor. So you just simply advance there and it starts showing us what to do. Now if we want to go and program some things, we go to the menu and we can see all the different ones here. Uh, we have energy use, that's a nice feature about this. You can actually put in what you pay for, for your electricity and it will calculate how much electricity it takes to run and how much it's going to cost you to heat your floor. Uh, there's different user settings and then there's installer settings if you want the installer to set up. Here we're just going to go to heating schedule and we'll touch that and if you look closely you can see that you can actually have six different heating events for every 24 hour period of time. You can turn it on at a particular time in the morning like when you get up and then you can actually drop the temperature maybe when everyone's gone from the home for a while. Uh, it's a good idea to not turn it all the way off. It actually takes more energy to run it up from dead cold than it would to just leave it like a, a lower temperature sort of dormant and then bring it back up when more people occupy the house. And this has the capability of doing six times a day. So you can see that this is Monday and we've got all the events put in and we could advance through that. But if we want to use that same settings for say every day during the weekday, we hit copy and then we can just copy that same program. We don't have to do it all over for each day and we could do that for all of the weekdays and then we could advance from there. And you're done. That's as simple as it is to set up. Now if we wanted to go into the weekend, we could advance from Tuesday all the way to Saturday and we could do the same thing again because perhaps your schedule on the weekends is different than the weekdays. So that's in essence how you use the programmable thermostat. The nice thing about it is once you set it, it's done. You don't have to ever come back and, and uh, mess around with it again. It's just done for you there. We hope you enjoyed this tips and tricks video and you could find it useful the next time you program your thermostat. Remember to visit us at Schluter.com and subscribe to us on YouTube so you can watch all these new videos.